Hey guys, how's it going? Today I want to give you a brief tutorial on how to use multiplex connectors as a servo harness. Um, a lot of you saw me use them in the Bixler 2 review, now I want to kind of go over how to do that. Uh, multiplex connectors, or MPX connectors as Hobby King calls them, are very unique connectors in the fact that they're 6-pin connectors versus 2-pin connectors like XT60s. Now being a 6-pin connector, it's capable of 35 amps if you use all of the pins. But realistically, we're not going to be using it as a power supply connector. We're going to be using it for servos. Servos can't normally draw more than, say, an amp and a half per servo in max conditions. So there's generally no problem using these. Um, the way I go about using them, and the way you should go about using them, is uh, paralleling all of your power connections between your servos. So your servo has three connections coming out. You've got a red, a black, and generally an orange or sometimes a yellow. Now the red is going to be your positive, your power to the uh, little DC motor. Your black is going to be your negative. And then your yellow or your orange is going to be your signal wire. Now the signal wire is the really important one. The red and the black can actually be tied together with all the other power wires coming off of your other servos in that wing. So what I recommend doing is taking, say, your Bixler 2 or whatever uh, two servo plane you have per wing, and you take your aileron servo, your flap servo, you cut your connections off at the uh, servo ends, plug your red wires together, your black wires together, so that they're be both being powered by the same wire, and then um, take your signal wires and solder those to the individual MPX connector. Now, it does have a positive and negative on the connector itself, which makes it really easy. You do want to be very careful when you solder these because they are plastic and not nylon, so they will melt if you're not uh, very quick with the heat. But it's such a small pin that it really doesn't take too much. So again, positive to positive, negative to negative, and then individual signal wires. And then you split that back on the other side into individual three-pin connectors for your receiver. Um, it's really a very simple process. shouldn't take too much thinking about in this example that I'm giving you on the Bixler 2, what I ended up doing, since I only had two servos to run, um, I ended up using both center pins um, as my positive and then both right center pins as my negative. Uh, the reason I did that is just to increase the amount of current flow that can go through the connector without heating up. Um, obviously, you wouldn't do that if you had four servos per wing, but this was how I did it. So again, it's it's a really very simple uh, simple process. You just need to realize that um, your positive and your negative can all parallel together, and it, you you will still get uh, proper power to your servos. So just make sure those signal wires are completely isolated, and then come out the other end of the connector and go right into your receiver. So very simple process. I hope uh, you enjoyed the video. Thumbs up, subscribe if it helped you out. And um, feel free to ask questions in the comments. If I can't get to you, I'm sure some of my other viewers will. Uh, I'd like to make it as uh, as friendly as possible. So feel free to ask questions, and uh, I'll do my best to answer. Other people in the uh, in the community, please feel free to uh, answer questions in the comments as well. So thanks for watching, guys, and I hope you have a great day.